Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So I have so many amazing things to tell you guys. I just want to, okay, hold on, honey. I just got so many things to tell you guys. Okay, so today's video is I'm going to be doing a full glam makeup like makeup like everything is going to be full glam going to be foundation eyeshadow I hate eyeshadow i literally hate doing eyeshadow but i'm going to do it today um, contour highlight baking setting powder all of that stuff i'm going to be doing today in this video and i'm going to try to make the ultimate glam look um i don't know how it's gonna turn out i hope i pray that it turns out really really good um i have no idea so i'm just going to hope that it turns out good first i want to say that today Today is January 8th and I know that it may be confusing because you guys are like what it's February like I'm literally posting this video in February so it's kind of hard to like imagine myself in the future when this video finally comes out but right now in this point of time there's so much stuff going on so I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and talking about my life basically so I hope that you guys like it and also um, big big news I finally made a new intro it's a little bit longer than my old one but I figured I needed a new intro I'm over a hundred videos on my YouTube channel now which is literally crazy to think about I've had this YouTube channel since 2014 and it's now 2023 so oh my goodness but you guys are about to see the new intro in three two one Okay, so I really hope that you guys like that intro. It took me like three days to make that because I was very indecisive about what clips I wanted to add. So yeah, well, let's just go ahead and get started. So this is my face now. Kind of scared. I don't know. I hope that the makeup turns out really good because if not, then I'm probably like just going to die. I'm going to go in with the Stay Naked Foundation. I'm going to go in with this first. But as you guys um probably already know i moved in on campus early from winter break which is literally so depressing for me because i really did not want to but i knew that it was something that i had to do i had to move in oh this is like literally my shade okay sorry so i got early move in and i've basically been living in the dorm by myself for like two days i think and i just want to say how peaceful it is i don't want to sound like mean or anything but it's so nice to kind of like have my own space and that's kind of like what i had back at home but like now that i'm here it's like really nice to have my own space everybody today is moving back in in my like housing it was it's been so quiet like literally like not a lot of people has been here probably saw the max maybe like 30 people in the room like in the in this housing i haven't seen more than 30 people here Ooh, i don't want to get my nose piercing i don't want my nose piercing to have foundation on it because then it's gonna like look ugly because it's gonna be like yellow and i don't want that like everybody's moving in now i don't know if you guys can see i'm just gonna show you guys real quick all of these cars are like the parents of students who are literally moving back in today but it's gonna be a pretty busy day and i'm just gonna miss the quiet i think this wednesday or like the wednesday in my time not your time that you're watching this video but i have a meeting coming up to hopefully I can bring my dog on campus with me. I really, really hope I can. I'm talking to my therapist and she wrote him an ESA letter. If you don't know the difference between an ESA or an emotional support animal and a service dog. Or a service animal is a pet who has had mainly dogs, but as a pet who has had specific training for that type of need, they're able to do certain things that other animals can't because they've literally trained to do that they have special like um laws to protect them for example like that service dog is able to go on airplanes or just able to literally be in any place 
with that person because of their disability. However, an emotional support animal that can literally be any type of animal. Your therapist or your doctor has said that you need this animal because of this. Emotional support animal doesn't have the same rights as a service dog. An emotional support animal cannot go on planes. Say you're moving into an apartment and they say, oh, we don't allow dogs. If you have an emotional support animal, that dog can live there because emotional support animal law allows that dog to be there because of your disability that you have. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Concealer. Hopefully y'all understand what I was trying to say. So anyways, nonetheless, I have a meeting with someone to talk to them about my emotional support animal. Because in college you have, it's like certain rules that you have to have. Like it can't be like a online, like, oh yeah, emotional support animal. Like you can't have that. And you have to like work with your therapist multiple months before they're able to write you a, an emotional support animal thing. Not able to bring him. I literally have no idea what I'm going to do. So I just sprayed my beauty blender with setting spray. And I'm using the long lasting hydration. It doesn't really have a brand on here. But I got this from Forever 21. Which I think I've said in like multiple of my past videos. But yeah. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that I got this um, Sephora gift card for Christmas that I haven't used yet that I really, really, really want to use. And hopefully I'm able to go to Sephora sometime soon. I want to get more makeup and I think that would be really, really cool. I've had this makeup for like forever, like literally like my past videos where I've been doing like get ready's with me and like doing my makeup and my hair I've had those products for like a long time like I think I've had that setting spray for like for like at least two years the foundation on my forehead I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer here I think I need to go lighter on my concealer because like my concealer and my foundation is like damn near the same color can you tell? Like, you can't even tell that I'm putting concealer on. I feel like your concealer is supposed to match you, but it's, I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit lighter. Or maybe I'm wrong. I got this beauty blender from Forever 21 too, and I'm not sure if I like it. It's really hard. Like, it's really, it's a really rough beauty blender. Like, I'm able to squeeze it, but it, like, it's so hard on my face. I think I'm getting it. Like, right here, like, underneath my eyes, like, I feel like there, there's no makeup right there. And I don't know. And I think that it's the Beauty Blender w literally wiping it off. I really wish I had my old Beauty Blender, but I'm going to use this this like flat brush instead. I really wish I had my old Beauty Blender, but I think I accidentally thrown it away. And that's a different story because um, when I was moving back into my dorm, like that last video, like literally like last week's video, I actually put my Beauty Blender in my book bag. I ended up making rice water and I wanted to take it back to school with me. I didn't think the smell was that bad, but once I put my, like once I was bringing my bags down, like I could smell it. Like it was so bad. My boyfriend was like, yeah, you're not getting in my car with that. I had to end up like dumping the rice water out but even when I dumped the rice water out the smell was still in my book bag so I ended up throwing away that whole book bag and I think that when I threw it away like I remember taking things out of it like I literally remember taking everything out of it but I don't remember taking my beauty blender out of it and I think it was thrown away in that book bag. I got a pretty good decent base down. I'm gonna go in with setting powder and I'm gonna go in with the LA Color setting powder under my eyes. A little bit of setting powder here. And I can't get the line as straight as I did the other the other side. The other thing that I've been wanting to talk about is like I'm trying to post my channel on my TikTok more because like I've always wanted to be like an actual YouTuber. It's something that I've always wanted. Like I've been filming YouTube videos. I knew how to post them on YouTube. Like literally I've been doing YouTube videos trying to film them ever since I was in elementary school. I feel like I deserve more recognition. More, rec more recognition. More on my TikTok to hopefully like, I don't know, maybe it would blow up one day but I'm not counting on it, but right now I'm just doing YouTube because I like to do YouTube and it's kind of like a way for me to cope. You guys probably cannot even take me seriously right now. I couldn't take myself seriously. It's like kind of excited to see how this look is literally going to turn out. People are trying to move in 
and like all you can hear is like door slamming it's annoying going in with this contour palette i have no idea i think i got this contour palette from five below and this is what it looks like i literally put that on here like i put that on there and then this is the contour palette um i think i'm gonna go in with this shade here this one I think this one would work. I tried to join TikTok's, you know, affiliate program because I'm like, you know what? Maybe like they can help me grow and maybe I could help them grow. And then like 30 minutes after sending my application in, they're like, yeah, you're denied. And it was just like right now they're looking for people who have like a big platform already. So I was like, oh. I would post my content on like like I would post like more of my YouTube content on like my Instagram pages and stuff like that but like everybody that is like that I've known since middle school or like not everybody that I've known since middle school but a lot of people that follow me are people that I've known since middle school like all of them are like people that I know or people that know me and like I just feel like they're gonna just like be talking a whole bunch of crap behind like just like like just like basically just talking bad about it i'm just i just want to keep that up like i don't have time to like be like hearing about people hating on me or just like all the negativity because quite frankly i don't want it and i don't feel like hearing it hopefully i know what i'm doing And then what people do is like they go in like the um the contour stuff like at the bottom i don't know i'm gonna use like this skinny brush to like really like get in there you know okay so people say they connect it from their eyebrow I'm gonna put it right here. Right? And then take this and go down my nose. Man, I look like a professional, please. Here that I'm using is the Lash Sensational. Actually, I'm not gonna go in with this because I told myself that I was going to do eyeshadows today So that's what we're gonna do. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the cute AF Colourpop eyeshadow palette Like neutral colors, colors that I like to use. Going with this color as my base Lordy, I really hope this looks good <laughs> Because I don't know what to do if it doesn't Let's Just get it on there to go in with this with this color right here and I'm gonna use like the shadow color that one I think yeah okay I think I feel like I should have gone in with the pink color but it's okay it's okay take this one I got this brush off ipsy now it's time for me to finally wipe this um, setting powder off my face I have this brow setting gel. I didn't know this. This is brow setting gel. I'm gonna try this. The setting, the brow setting gel that I used though. The milk blush. Some girls will do this like every day. I don't think I could do this every day. And I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Light Skins Highlighter. Go in with my eyebrow bone
now I think I'm just gonna go do the um do my bottom lashes going with the red lip liner and it's the bonita one since I was in like um middle school I've always got bullied from the way like the size of my lips like people will always make fun of me telling me like oh my god you got big lips like da 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 so I don't really like to overline as you can see like I like just lined it literally where my lips are and then my bottom lip I kind of underlined it a little bit I mean I'm not doing it because of them I mean like them I mean sorry forget about them like right like I don't care If you guys can see it as best as you can. As you can see, there's bite marks on it because my dog was a baby when he got to it. So. so this is the finished look. I feel like a princess. Tell me what you want out of this club. Doesn't it look good? Isn't it giving? Okay, guys, I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys next Friday at 7 p.m.